Hello there. This is Anonymous Star here with a Poppin Collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. So this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. This is going to be a late night reading. <clears throat> I had a very interesting dream last night. And I've been itching to use this deck for a while. It's a bit more racy, yes, but it's red. And I had a dream where there was a red puppy following me at an outlet store. Like there was like this mall, I guess. And there was a two red dogs. And I mean red, like really, really red, like bright red. And I'm like, why are they red? They look very strange, right? So I just, I don't know, it was weird. And then I was in a store and I saw a woman buying lingerie. <laughs> And there were some other weird coincidences along the dream. But when I looked it up, what it meant, you know, when you think of puppies in general, that's indicative of new beginnings. Um, any baby puppy, it's always new beginnings, right? And it also means passion, right? And then I got double confirmation because I know if you guys watch the Super Bowl, um, Rihanna is pregnant and I saw it right away I'm like that looks like a baby bump <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone who watched the Super Bowl felt like that was a baby bump um, just for it to be confirmed afterwards and I thought it was pretty funny because she was wearing red no coinky dink there right so I, I just knew I had to pull this deck out we're gonna see what it has to say it might not be a very long reading I always say that and it ends up being 45 minutes which is to me quite long, but we'll see where this goes. We'll see what that dream is trying to say for the collective. I mean, obviously we're in the month of love, right? We got Valentine's Day coming up. So we'll see what this deck has to say. At the bottom, we have the Four of Swords, <clears throat> the Knight of Cups and the Fool. <coughs> Sorry. I still have some uh, residual coughs here and there. I see a truth. I see clarity, God's truth reigning on a person. <laughs> this is causing them to take a leap of faith in a new direction, wanting to express their feelings in order to heal a situation. Now, I'm not going to be showing these cards too much because they're a little racy here and there. But we have the Ace of Swords, the Fool, and the Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords is God's truth. Somebody here could have had an epiphany regarding a relationship with the Ten of Cups. Whatever this epiphany is, it's, it's this person taking a chance on expressing themselves emotionally. And the Four of Swords at the bottom is all about healing. I even heard sexual healing for some. But this truth is looming over this relationship. <clears throat> Somebody here wants to heal a situation with the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. A lot of fixation. I also feel somebody sees another person as being very healing to them. Okay. <laughs> We're going to see where this goes. That card kind of flopped out. The Wheel of Fortune. Death card. Dang. So there is a faded event happening here. There could have been a few prospects, but there is a destined person that an individual is dealing with. Um... I always say I kind of find it funny how this feminine energy is on the floor crying. This person is looking at this one um, with an evil eye, okay? It's like trying to climb up the ladder. This one's on top, but she's focused on herself, okay? She's kind of like admiring herself in a mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I see this energy of one person who is focused on themselves, another person focused on that person, and then someone on the floor crying here. It's like... Some kind of wheel of destiny is unfolding. This could also be the wheel of karma, right? We got good karma, bad karma. And I've been seeing um, quite a few interesting, interesting uh, client readings lately of the tower, of endings, new beginnings, epiphanies throughout, okay? <clears throat> With the death card, there's a shift happening. A shift. It's going to close out a cycle. I've been seeing the end of a cycle cards as well lately we got the wheel of fortune 
that's fixed sign energy as well scorpio taurus leo aquarius with a page of swords yeah someone is watching another person intentionally they like what they see this is also a card of a student all right somebody here could be learning something new gathering information trying to see trying to understand trying to look at things from multiple angles oh this angle here <laughs> that's quite an angle right with a knight of wands yeah there's a lot of passion here someone's very attracted to a person all right but this person again they're not they're not bothered with this person they're focused on their own inner truth i also hear the word integrity someone here is fixated on themselves and that's what makes them attractive because they're not necessarily looking outside of themselves right now. And that someone here is very attracted to whoever this is. Um, I'm hearing the word admiration. Okay, admiration from afar. Admiration from afar, two of pentacles. Again, an illustration of someone with their back turned and a person very, very interested in whoever this is. I also get a bit of like, should I or should I not approach this person? Should I or should I not <laughs> do something about this? Okay. I'm more so drawn to the star back here, which is um, kind of like a faded event. The, the Wheel of Fortune is also faded matters. I just see somebody looking at a person. They like what they see. I don't know if a color here is of significance as well. Like maybe somebody's wearing a particular color and it stands out. But I just see a fixation. And it's like, should I or should I not approach this person? Will or will this not be a good idea? Yeah, nine of cups. Because they really desire whoever this is. You see how how this person is gripping this woman? Like, oh, it's like a very convincing conversation. A very convincing, like somebody who wants to convince another person or make an impression on them. And... um they're like back and forth like they're studying who they want to approach there's an attraction there very much so nine of cups they see this person as wish fulfillment there's a hesitation ten of swords here with the five of cups now somebody here could have had an ending the ten of swords is a pretty horrific ending with the five of cups there's an energy of upset grief what is this ending regarding? Well, they're saying it's a successful ending. So I'm not really sure <laughs> with the Six of Wands, it's usually success. For some reason, I'm also getting an ending to a cycle is paving the way for a victory in another. Yes, it is. Like the Ten of Swords, you see this woman crying, right? But there's, <sighs> I'm trying to fix the lighting. There's a couple in the background here. I don't know if someone's upset by something they've seen or um, something that came about, closed out a cycle, ended it, okay? And with the Six of Wands, there is success. And the success is in association with um, a new cycle starting. My leg itched. Yeah. So it's like, whatever this ending is, it's in ways a victory, which sounds very strange, but it has everything to do with someone being able to approach or move forward with the Knight of Cups. Okay, tell me more. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, double confirmation. Ten, ten, completion, Knight of Pentacles. Someone here has serious intentions. It's like they weigh the pros and cons in the approach. There's a hesitancy. Um, someone here sees victory in long term with whoever they're fixated on. I really feel like they put this person on a pedestal. It's like the admiration is there. They see abundance there. They see this person very fruitful. Um, this person has a lot of fruit hanging around <laughs> on their body. It's like this person is very fruitful. And I feel like there's this someone here has like the insight. You know when you look at a person and you just know? <clears throat> someone here sees potential for the long haul with the person. Now the Knight of Cups turned into a Knight of Pentacles, which is a more solid offer. So I feel like someone's intentions is for something to go somewhere. They're, that's why they're like, you know, they put this person on a high pedestal. I strongly feel it. And it's like, I would be very victorious in securing long-term with whoever this is, right? 
and uh, yeah, they want their hands on this person. It's very obvious. I need to get my hands on this person. Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a stable new start. This could even be like, oh, I want to move in with this person. I want to be comfortable with this person. They see prosperity and longevity with whoever they're approaching. They also see this person as a stable new start to have something comfortable, to be settled, right? The Ace of Pentacles, however one puts it, is a divine blessing in something secure, yeah? With the Hermit, this person has reflected on this. I also feel this energy of, well, if I'm not going to lock it down with this person, someone else will. In the Hermit card, you see a masculine here um, reflecting in a candle, and it's like this other person is getting it on with someone else in the background. So it immediately, that tells me, someone here is thinking, right they're sat in a cave somewhere thinking well if i'm not gonna lock it down with this person someone else will so if you have this intention right you know that someone's your forever person and you know for whatever reason right in this lifetime if it's not me someone else will because they put them on a pedestal they recognize the potential. They see the qualities in this person to either be a husband or a wife. I strongly feel that here. It's like whatever the intentions are, it's to lock it down. And the energy is very strong. The attraction is very strong. This person sees them as a new beginning. And it's like, if I don't place this pentacle in this situation with this person, for us to be comfortable together, for us to grow this ace to the ten of pentacles, someone else will i really feel that i really feel that strongly with the hermit that's something someone is reflecting on that's virgo energy here ten of wands in the reverse man the dam is about to bust here with the chariot energy the, 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 this is pressure this is a pressure cooker i also feel somebody here could have held back a lot of um desires uh sexual energy even <laughs> hmm. i'm not gonna show you the card but yeah yeah I have three tens out, guys. If that isn't the epitome of cycles closing out, the tens in tarot is a cycle closing out, dead end, new beginning awaits. The tens amount to the ace for a new start. So if I have three tens in a spread, that's quite telling. Right. <laughs> but this ten is in the reverse because it's like the ten of wands in the upright is usually illustrated by someone carrying a lot. It being in the reverse is dropping something it's i'm not carrying this anymore it's the dam has has broken right the straw that breaks the camel's back energy so someone here they're about to burst and i <laughs> with chariot clarifying the ten of wands in the reverse ah oh, here's that fixation nine of pentacles to the chariot someone here is very fixated with how independent a person is from them again highly unbothered here just chilling and this person is literally plucking a piece of her hair so it's like they see whoever they're looking at is very comfortable very independent this is very i'm hearing my precious with a chariot you see how this dad is like okay that's my precious again unbothered lying down focused with herself resting okay and these genders they can switch I could say he and she, it, <laughs> right? <laughs> but either how either one puts it, you can switch the roles. Someone here sees another person as precious to them. Precious cargo. I've had a reading with these cards where I heard precious cargo. <laughs> and I, and I'm, it's coming back. Someone here is another person's precious cargo. And they don't want to see it move move on basically okay let's continue hierophant i'm telling you this is commitment hierophant ace of pentacles ten of pentacles this is commitment there could have been other people vying for this role okay it's like yes with the goat man oh my gosh this is good versus evil all right you have everybody has a person right every dust pan has its broom every pot has its lid Every pot has its pot cover, whatever. Someone here, it's like they know the person for them. So it cancels out other people. But I really feel there were there could have been another person. Because there are two females here on this Hierophant's lap. 
who wants to be that forever person. So it's like whoever this is, their fixation is on the one because they know it. They see the potential. They put this person on a pedestal. I feel like somebody here could have um, strayed off their path before, right? They could have indulged in lower vibrational things with a goat man here. I feel like that's probably what this ending was as well. It's like this person sees the forest for the trees. They know. And this heightened desire, longingness, uh, you know, someone's been a bust here with all this energy that they've accumulated over time. It's like they want to lock it down. I'm, I'm more so called to the geese in the air, <laughs> right here. Um, there's a reader on YouTube. Um, his name is Steve's Love Tarot. And there's this phrase that he says sometimes where it's like, the geese are in the air, the love geese are in the air. And you know what was so funny and so synchronistic about that moment? I was walking, I think, yeah, I was visiting my sister at the time. I promise you, this was wild. And I had my ear pods in, so I was listening to the reading, and he was saying, the love geese are in the air. <laughs> and long behold, a flock of geese were literally flying over my head. And, and there was another time where it was, and, her, and I heard the geese like, quack, 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 like they fly in flocks, right? And, and he was saying like, it costs them a lot of energy to be flying in the air. I promise you, as soon as he, I heard him say that, I'm looking at the geese in the air. That's wild. Like how often would that happen? But yeah, uh, you know, as he would say, the love geese are in the air in this reading for sure. And um, it's giving soulmate energy. It is wow okay yeah there could be like um five of swords somebody here is trying to secure something so they could go about it in a way that can come off a little bit shady okay the page of wands is an exciting message but paired with the five of swords this person is trying to secure and convince a person, but it's like under what behavior? The Five of Swords can be that energy of needing to win at all costs, right? But it's also a very shifty energy. So I would pace yourself with this person because this person doesn't want to <coughs> lose out on an opportunity with you if this is your reading. With the Seven of Pentacles, that's a, that's a card of taking your time, okay? Take your time with this person. You don't need to rush, okay? Slow and steady wins the race here. But this person wants to initiate something. And they might, in ways, come off. Let me see. Why Why is it, why is it paired like this? Knight of Pentacles, okay? Mm -hmm. That offer will be stable, but the initial introduction could come off a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a false promise, but it's the presentation. So the initial conversation might go a little bit left if there if this person doesn't come off like with their intentions right off the riff. But the Knight of Pentacles, that's where this person wants to take it. I feel like certain things need to end first. So whether it's habits that need to end first um bad cycles bad habits karmic cycles that need to end first it's like this person probably can't fully move into the ten of pentacles which is the long term the stable longevity until certain things are fully put to put to bed and this person might say something prematurely before they're in a in a position to fully secure that with you does that make sense so it's like I'm going to say this, I'm going to do this, it's going to be exciting, right? With a Five of Swords, it's like that's kind of what's shady here. Could be the timing of something. Tell me more, why is the Five of Swords here? The Nine of Cups, yeah, very convincing. It's like this person really wants this. It's like, listen to me. <laughs> You know, um, let's like, let's say this person's like, yes, I want to do this. Listen to me. But practically speaking, it might not happen like right then and there. That's why it's very five of swords. It's like, I'm trying to be very convincing right now because I really, really want this. Yes, they do. However, <laughs> X, Y, and Z needs to happen or this needs to be something practical. Okay. So it's like, you know, when a car, a salesman sells you something, 
it's like, yeah, this car is amazing. However, it's the however, and that however can look differently for all of you. But this person, when I tell you the dam is about to burst, they can't help themselves. This ten of ten of wands in the reverse is resetting to this page of wands, which is an exciting for some rendezvous. Okay, this person might um, send you something on Valentine's Day, send you a letter, profess their feels. But practically speaking, maybe all the ducks aren't in a row. Knight of Wands, damn, a lot of sexual energy, man. This person, that's what I'm saying, like, pace yourself with this one. King of Swords, this person hides their attraction as well, like they wear a mask. There could be another person looming around, right? You see how this person's lurking. This person might hide their attraction for whoever they're into very well. <coughs> But they ain't got me fooled in this reading. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. Very much so reminiscing on the past. This person has a lot of feelings that they kept buried down. This person has a mask. They wear a mask very well. There's judgment here. I feel judgment is being passed on this situation because these two are tethered to each other. And this little baby down here. You know, Rihanna be pregnant. I be seeing red puppies in my dreams. The energy of fertility is here. And I also feel that it's time for something, you know, I do believe in reincarnation and I do believe certain spirits on the other side, they have their own due dates. They have, they want to see their parents come together. Like there's this energy here of, you know, you see how this little boy is pulling the strings between mommy and daddy together. And there's an angel calling judgment on this. That's what it feels like. And for some, it doesn't have to be that serious of like, you know, offspring. But there could be ancestors who want to see this through for whatever reason. All right. That's what it's giving. And um, the nostalgia energy picks up. You see these two white doves. That's also soulmate energy. And this woman is painting a painting of her and her lover. Okay. Somebody here could be looking at photos of the past. Very. My left ear just started ringing loudly. Okay, double confirmation on that one. My left ear is on fire. Like, just hit out of nowhere. Someone is looking at photos, okay? <laughs> wow. They're looking at photos, old texts. They're looking at something. And that's what's making this <laughs> that much more unbearable. Yeah, wow. This is somebody here who... This, this connection could have challenged their beliefs in things. They could have challenged their beliefs in love. Yeah, they told me to look at the bottom of the deck. Make the effort. This is somebody who wants to make the effort. And again, this little girl is very like minding her business. And this person is trying to climb over this wall to show affection. That's what it, this feels like. Somebody here might have to like go an extra mile to... to make sure it's almost like this person doesn't want you to forget them so even though certain things practically speaking aren't fully ready to get it off the ground overnight <laughs> this person doesn't want to like <laughs> like lose their spot honestly that's what i'm getting into they do not want to lose their spot so this person is going to initiate something for some of you this could be communication this could be a letter this could be a gift this could be a date. And practically speaking, they might not be in the best position to fully get something off the ground because I did see that Five of Swords is in relation to the, the more stable offer. The Five of Swords is in relation to an ending with the Death card. So it's like certain things need to be lined up for this person to fully be able to, to have that longevity with you. All right, so this person might come in. And I honestly, I promise you, it's giving me... I don't want to lose my spot so that's what they're doing they're securing their spot okay retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and soulmate yeah this is a soulmate i've been talking about love geese in the air i've been talking about white doves this is a soulmate <coughs> deception so be sure that this person isn't trying to like fool you <laughs> they ain't trying to fool you now are you ready or are you not forgiving and learning for some of you there's an apology that's in order for some that apology is required for you to trust them again as you release and heal the past you experience more love in, in the present moment 
for some of you that's where the hesitation lies because maybe this person was shady before the five of swords can be poor communication it could be arguments it could be trying to win at all costs trying to get the upper hand maybe even some gaslighting right very soon <laughs> i shuffled very soon this masked individual is back so for some of you that mask is maybe the way they come off they could downplay something even though they have like a well of emotions for others of you this person could like oversell something when practically it's not all there yet okay so it could look like two different things i'm getting energetically but very soon this person could come in with a mask for some of you this person could come in puffed up because their ego is there they don't want to get rejected that's why i'm telling you this person's like <laughs> weighing like should i or should i not come should i because this person really ain't bothered with me that's what bothers them every every image i'm seeing this woman with her back turned minding her business okay <coughs> that's what it's giving engagement i'm telling you, that's what, and it fell on top of the dang hierophant true love this this is the romance of a lifetime This person wants the end all be all. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, whether that is we're going steady, <laughs> we're getting engaged, we're moving in. That's what this person wants um, at the end of the day. So this person got to come in honest, honestly, because whoever they're approaching ain't no dum dum. <laughs> I can see that much. They ain't no dumb dumb. But they can't they can't hold this in anymore. That's what this is giving. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. This is a second retreat card. Integrity. Didn't I say the word integrity earlier? Does this situation align with your values and morals? <laughs> That's a question you gotta ask yourself. For some of you, this person's coming in and they're testing you. I said what I said. I'm seeing retreat twice, so that's kind of like uh, pointing it out to me. This person might want some alone time, but with integrity. This is also about your morals, your beliefs. <coughs> All right. Oh, can't make it up. Did I not tell you? Go slow. Take your time. Take time to get to know each other. Okay? Know what you're signing up for. Know what this is. Know what you're giving yourself energy to. Because it's going to look differently for all y'all. Okay? When I mean go slow and integrity, don't rush with this person. For some of you, this could be a new person who came out of something and they're like, they don't have to jump into the next best thing, okay? Take your time. There's no hurry here. This person can see forever with you, but there's no need to rush certain... I was going to say there's no need to rush certain milestones. Like, you know, we have first base, second base, home run, whatever they call it, right? <laughs> there's no need to rush that, okay? Go slow. Wow. Basically, awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So that's probably what that is as well. Wait. <laughs> yes, they really want somebody to pace themselves. Okay, the timing needs to be right for certain things. And, you know, everybody has their own way of pacing that. You can feel that out intuitively for yourself. Okay. But I feel with the word integrity. Do things that feel good based on how your um how you're wired what you feel comfortable with what your body mind and spirit feels comfortable doing don't rush it to please anyone and i don't know if there's a steve harvey fan here but there is like this steve harvey 90 day rule or 60 day rule it's like something that yeah i don't know why i just got that intuitively like maybe somebody here likes steve harvey or they knew of that rule where you like wait 30 days when you meet someone new or something like that or was it 90 days before rushing into certain things intimately okay for some of you that's relevant anything else you need to know about this person let's hear what they have to say damn and this came in the reverse but i'm choosing to be with someone else now because this is easier to deal with at this time i feel like they did that 
I want you more than anything in this world, but I'm so scared to take the leap of faith with you. This person chose another individual because it's it's easy. I'm hearing textbook. Maybe, yeah, it makes sense because this connection challenged the way this person looked at things. Maybe the person that they dealt with was easier. And I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like it, it didn't challenge them as a person to grow. For others of you, that was the person before they met you. I don't know what that is, but it's like, maybe maybe you don't know this person yet. Maybe it'll be relevant at another point in time. But it's like, I see definitely there was a choice made. This is easier to deal with. Yes. Maybe, maybe moving forward with you was conflicting. I would bring more challenges. Like a butterfly, I'm growing and changing and finding my true colors in life. I'm finding my wings so I can fly and soon be on my way back to you. Isn't that insane? Like a butterfly, I'm growing and changing and finding my true colors in life. I'm finding my wings so I can fly and soon be on my way back to you. This person being with you required transformation of the self. It required them to grow, figure themselves out. Because when you settle for easy, and I was I was explaining it as well. I have the goat man and God. It's like people can put people together of the flesh, of earthly matters, of what the mind says, of what your body is trying to say, carnal desires, maybe practically in this world. But when it's your spirit, right? When it's ordained, that's a very different vibration. And it's like, it's easier for people to do stuff of goat man tendencies. Oh, I'll take that because my flesh is saying that piece of ass is perfect right now, for example. Or practically speaking, my mind is saying because a society told me that that did it this. So that's going to be easier for me to stick with the status quo. But when this person ascends, when this person comes home to their spirit, like a butterfly growing and changing, finding their true colors, right? Not what society wanted to paint on them, <laughs> right? Not what their flesh is telling them to do, right? It's like once they get home to their soul, they're going to start realizing that matters of the tree D, the flesh, da da da, practical ways, right? Just don't resonate with them anymore. Easy won't cut it. Low vibrational won't cut it for this person. So that's why... It's like, for some of you, this is like a new start with a person you already knew. For others of you, this person's coming in a changed individual from who they were before. Okay, so it's like this transformation needed to take place. So this could be a new energy, but this could also be um, a person from your past. This person needs to change. They chose easy before, before they woke up. <sighs> Can't you see that I'm just crazy about you? Okay, what else you got to say? I'm constantly thinking and dreaming about you. You are everywhere and always there. It's like you put a spell on me. This is all so strange. No, sweetie, that's God. <laughs> that's the divine. That's the universe sending you signs. So somebody here, they don't get how they're feeling this intensely. For some of you, they really think you put, you know, <laughs> they think you did that. That's funny no um <clears throat> and it's weird right because somebody here could be under like energetic manipulation but they wouldn't know the forest for the trees right because our subconscious mind tells us stuff all the time but um i've been studying my dreams since i was a kid and you'll know the difference you'll know when something is low vibrational like when it's trying to call you in um, those dreams can usually be very, it'll have something to it that'll feel dark to you. Those are usually um, signs likely of manipulation. Maybe somebody trying to call you in, right? It's like they're trying to convince you because the devil is the art of confusion, right? The art of manipulation is the, something like that. There's like this phrase, right? And, um, you'll know the difference like most people can discern the difference um, some people see premonitions of the future other people they get feelings they see their person um, the person's spirit will come and say certain things that you know they would say and it's like the information gets exchanged the connection is still there 
but when it's a when it's a dark manipulative thing there's usually darkness attached to that i don't know how to explain it guys but this person couldn't discern their experience from fabricated or real that's why this person's like did this person put a spell on me i'm so in love with them why am i like this this is a tethered soul this is a soulmate okay and <laughs> i just feel like this person is like why can't I stop thinking about them? Why can't I, da, da, da. It's not no sir or ma'am. This is just a soulmate. Like, go look it up, right? I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of my money problems. I feel weak and lack confidence. I can't be what you need. Yeah, somebody here worries about maybe financial matters. As I said, certain things that need to be practical. <clears throat> I wish we could just run away together to a place without all this drama down so this person could be going through it but this individual really did question this love because it, it was intense so the intensity makes them damn near feel as though this could have been um, manipulated all right from the very first moment that i looked into your eyes i knew that we belonged together like yin and yang yeah that's a soulmate <laughs> that's a showmate and um soulmates they don't they don't do that they don't need to right it's like if the love is meant to stand the test of time, it will. Why would you want a person that you manipulated to be with you? And anyone who does mess with that BS knows 10 out of 10, like they should know actually, that it will backfire. Um, there have been some horror stories of that stuff, like people who mess with divination to get a person I think it was another reader on here that had told me she was like yeah there was this there was this person like the story of a woman i feel yeah i think it was a woman who did magic on a man to be with her and that man dropped everything to be with her so apparently it worked right yay then she fell in love with another man who ended up being her real person right her soulmate and as grim as the story sounds because that whatever she did was that strong that person the way it backfired is that masculine who was under heavy heavy magic who was manipulated he apparently went crazy and it was giving fatal attraction because he couldn't deal with her trying to break up with him and the way it backfired as weird as it sounds he took his he took her life and then his own so it's like can you imagine you want this person so bad you're gung-ho about having them and you throw magic on them to make sure they're yours and then you fall in love with your rightful person the ordained person and because that magic was so strong that person lost their damn mind and like said no you're not leaving me so i'm gonna if i can't have you no one can ended her life and ended his too sad but sometimes you know if i feel called to share stories like these People think it's it's bonkers, but y'all have seen those episodes on Snapped and like those crime investigation things. They're real stories, okay? So it's like don't do that stuff. Don't even go there. If some if God has has ordained someone for you, it's worth waiting for. You know, don't don't go that route. Don't go secure a person that probably wasn't meant for you. If you do that, it backfires. And and that is literally the epitome of rolling dice. I have walls here. I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. Yeah, for some of you, you could have put your walls up with this person. Guilt. Hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. I'm getting this vibe of like the energy has transmuted so if you were hurting about what they did to you now you're in a healed space you have your walls up and now this person is feeling everything that's how soulmates work as well it's like okay something here flipped guys something here flipped dramatically this person is hurting because they hurt their counterpart when you hurt your counterpart it's like you hurt yourself so that's how this ish works it's like you can do them dirty but in turn you've done yourself dirty because you hurting them hurts you um that's how this love exchange works and i see somebody having put their walls up here they're not fixated with this person they're worried i'm not sure if this is a good idea i'm overthinking everything what will everyone else think 
It came in the reverse. It almost feels like this person is likely not going to care as much about other people's opinions. <laughs> Jealousy. I feel like you've moved on without me. And that's difficult for me to see. Y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? And this person's like, if I don't secure this with this person, someone else will. They could get jealous. I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. Gentle. Precious cargo. <laughs> gentle. They're trying to be gentle. They're trying to be smart with their approach because they don't want to hurt the person more than they already have. This person could be jealous that you're moving on. Okay. Let's see if I have some lasting words here. My goodness person really doesn't want to see you know what's so creepy remember how i said that like low vibrational way of doing things look at this at the bottom of the deck from my karmic deck it says if i can't have you no one can in black magic that's literally what i was talking about so for some of you something here could have backfired i don't know why i started talking about that but it's relevant someone here i don't know where they're in the mix with the ten of swords it could lie in that card someone here could have had a horrible ending and maybe the ending was worse than it had to be due to foul play. Foul play, a.k.a. black magic. Some people don't believe in it, okay? <laughs> but I've seen it with my own two eyeballs. Um, I haven't done, I haven't had work done on me, but um, in, in love. But it did happen in a career endeavor. Like I had somebody who was like definitely doing magic on me. And I wasn't sure of it because I was a skeptic at the time. And I don't know why I'm sharing this, but my dream showed me a woman who was very competitive with me at the time. And this was in the pageant days, by the way. Crazy. So I was in a pageant, right? And there was a woman who was very much giving toddlers and tiara. She wanted to win at all costs, okay? And I didn't know how bad until I was in the competition. And apparently I was a threat to her. Tell me why I had a dream where I saw her and her mom in like what looked like a closet space in my house my personal house and she was going through like my photo albums looking at pictures of when i was a child and i looked and in the dream everything was very dark and i looked at her and she was like looking at me looking at my photos it was like somebody studying me i saw her mom in my dream i did not know what her mom looked like in real life and then what's creepier we had a first competition and I saw her mother in the crowd. I'm like, that's the woman of my dreams. This is where I started going through my awakening of my gifts. So I had foresight. So I could see that these people were like inquiring, digging me up, right? And um, <clears throat> I went through like periods. I'm sorry, guys. I had to restart my phone because the storage wasn't giving what it needed to give. But anyhow, as I was saying... Um, I could feel that stuff was done on me, but I didn't really know how to identify it at the time. I was very skeptic as well, but I had a feeling because she was very gung-ho about winning. And um, at the final night when my name was called and I won, okay, if something is destined to happen, God willing, it will happen, okay? So even with everything that happened, I still won and I could see the rage and how furious she was in her face that night. And... Um, she had a boyfriend at the time, okay? And my mother was like in the crowd and the boyfriend was looking at my mom and um, and it was like this weird, like, you know, <laughs> it's giving like when you have a clash of competitors. <coughs> Anyways, tell me why years later, I think it was like three years later or four years later since I won, this guy came up in my DMs. He was acting like a big fan of mine. I'm like, what do you want, right? So we had a conversation and I was telling him how I was having issues with my social media and I think it was getting hacked. And he was like, oh, I, I, I could bet who that is. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh yeah, that girl who I used to date, she did magic on you. I'm like, come again? <laughs> I was like, what? That was my confirmation. I was getting warning dreams. I was getting all kinds of stuff. I was feeling strange, but I didn't, I couldn't put my finger on it. I still persevered. I still pushed through. And I won fair and square. However, I got confirmation literally three to four years later that that girl did stuff on me. He was like, yeah, she told me what she was doing. And the guy said, I'm a bit spiritual myself. My mom is a spiritualist. 
and and I got a gut wrenching feeling when she told me what she was gonna do to you, and I was like, he's like, yeah, my intuition told me that it wasn't it wasn't just because you're a good person, and I said to him, I said, well, thank you for that information, you know, I I guess, but that doesn't mean you gotta be my fan now, like, sh sir, <laughs> but confirmation, right? <laughs> Your dreams will tell you. Your dreams will show you what's up. You know, your internal spirit will show you what time it is. And that's when I was like, dang, so I got these morning dreams and I knew and I knew that there was some weird ish going on with her and her ma. So I've had it done on me um, in different ways since, <laughs> but that's where it started. So I don't know why I'm mentioning this, guys. I really feel this energy of lower vibrational attacks. So keep prayed up. Don't don't try to like play God. Okay, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it because people who play to God, play God will know God in a way that is undeniable. All right, hmm. there are consequences. Um, universal law you can't mess and tamper with someone's free will okay you can't you can't mess and tamper with someone's destiny either uh, if i was destined to win i won right whatever happened since then and a lot of serendipitous events happened since i won so it's like had i not won certain things wouldn't have happened it's like a domino effect in my life and that's probably why I did win that day, okay? So it's like somebody could try to take it away from you, but if it was meant to happen organically, it for sure will. It for sure will. Girl was furious. You know when you're supposed to like <laughs> clap and be like, yay, happy for whoever won? That girl couldn't hide it, guys. That girl could not hide it for the life of her. And I'm like, that's sad. Like, everybody has their day, right? <laughs> wow. Can't wait to spoil your heart. This person is dreaming. You know, I'm speaking about dreams. It says, come to me in my dreams. This person could be dreaming. Okay, they wish they could wake up to this person each morning. Seeing that here. <clears throat> yeah, this person might want to plan a trip or something. Wow. Entrapment in the reverse. Somebody here could have been um, entrapped where magic is concerned. This person could have been subject to ghosting or ghosted people, including yourself or some. Tell me more. <clears throat> this person wants a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. This person, you see all that red there, guys. I can't make it up. Um, this person wants to put on the charms. This is a very powerful connection. And I feel that's what that's what scared this person, but they want to make more memories. Okay. Yeah, they want to grow old together. I can't make it up. Anything that's meant to happen will come to pass. Um, don't sweat it, okay? Don't sweat it in between. There's no need to. These cards stuck behind from another deck. It says, important conversation and a generous offer. Storm warning. Okay, what is that storm warning about? <clears throat> third party. So there could be a third party here who did a lot of magic. I'm going to be honest because anything I start talking about is not for nothing. There's a reason I brought that up. Okay, there could have been um, certain things that another individual did to manipulate the fates. The storm warning is for a third energy. This could be anyone. This could be co-workers, ex, parents. This could be siblings. I don't know who the third party is, right? I mentioned a few things, but there's a storm warning for a third party and they're anxious. They're anxious right now. There's, anxi <coughs> there's anxiety. Confirmation cough, <laughs> right? There's anxiety. Yeah, they rolled the dice in a very mysterious way. There's something about somebody having taken a chance on something. Anytime you do that, you're taking a chance, but you're taking a big risk, really. So whoever this is, they're anxious. The fact that I keep, keep mentioning those matters, they're anxious. Yeah. I don't want to be them. Fear. Yo. Anxiety. Fear. Storm warning. Divine intervention is here um 
in a nutshell. This is communication coming in with the truth. Mask. <laughs> this is what I felt with deception. Somebody here, it's like, I don't know, yo. For some of you, it could be something amazing, but they're downplaying it. For others of you, this is them trying to like secure their spot for the something amazing that might come at a later date. I'm telling you, there's something here. This person is hiding what they're really finna do. For some of you, it's a big offer, okay? For some of you, it's like, a, what a, What did this, this card say? An important conversation that might lead to a very generous offer. So either way, take slow your roll. Take your time, all right? Because I speak of time, divine timing. So this person might come in like masked. I don't even know if they're coming in incognito, but this is like a masked text message or somebody you could, could maybe contact you with another number or email you in some kind of way. I don't know what it is, but it's giving me like the communication might seem shifty, but don't let it fool you. Because in divine timing, this person wants forever. This is not everybody's reading, but um, if it resonates, it resonates. I got quite a bit of um intuitive hits here and for me to be like storytelling is for a reason if i start storytelling there is a reason for that there could have been foul play in this situation journey somebody here wants to move forward okay journey is a that's the fourth 10 i'm seeing number 10 cycle completing big time i'm hearing big time wow I'm hearing that song, The Lover's Snap. Yo. Yo. I'm hearing that song from Journey. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. Final decisions. This is also the divine calling the shots. When I mean consequences, you have courthouse and imprisonment. Anything that was done to stop divine will. There are consequences for that. That's what this is telling me. That's a final hurrah, that's a final call. For who? Ha! The false person. I can't make it up, guys. This is insane. Final decisions and consequences for who? False person. There is a false person here. I'm not gonna say stuff like that and it not be relevant. Yo, they're hella nervous. When I mean fear, anxiety, concerns, they're nervous here because karma is here and that's not something to like <laughs> but it's just like okay that's how it works right <laughs> i'm not saying be like yeah like for some of you you're like justice i'm just seeing that energy come through so strong someone here in my collective is like justice <laughs> like that's so adorable if that is you <laughs> It hit me so strong. And I literally said, like, this is not something to, like, be all happy about. But I literally felt in the collective here right now, as you're going to watch this video, someone here is like, that's justice. I don't know what this person did to you. <laughs> wow. That was, I couldn't contain my laughter. I felt it. I could see it in my mind's eye. Someone's like, that's justice. marriage wow okay this is divine union i can't make it up guys this is what this is what i have for you someone here is getting their justice <laughs> beautiful okay and yes i don't know what that looks like it's very sad but that's what i'm telling you when people play god it's like you're gonna learn today god will present himself okay or itself in whatever form in consequences that's how the universe works all right so hopefully there's a lesson or a takeaway from my story time here for someone um, i feel like my story in particular is very symbolic right um, if something was meant to happen it will happen no matter who or what throws magic your way just trust divine timing trust stay with god okay stay enlightened stay prayed up and um, be patient, okay? Things can get delayed, but what's meant for you will never leave you, will never, you know, it is what it is. Just have faith. It comes a long way, okay? That's what I have for you guys. If this reading resonated, dang, what a reading it was. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and until the next time, bye.